Fishing at a big lake can be challenging, and let's face it, there's a lot of baits out there. So today I wanted to try a head-to-head -head challenge, comparing some of the most popular and most affordable baits out there on the market. Baits that you can pick up basically anywhere. There's only one thing left to see, which one catches the most fish. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're already out here at this beautiful lake this morning, and today we're gonna to be bringing you a three bait showdown. I got a bait I've never actually used before. We got cherry jello, we got ourselves some golden sweet corn, one of my favorite baits, and then on top of that, we got ourselves some garlic scented night crawlers. Now, before we get into this thing, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can be part of all of our future content just like this, and let's get straight into this thing. Now guys, in order to actually fish these uh, baits, we're gonna actually have to kind of mix them up and get them ready to go. So I'm gonna show you how we do that real quick. Uh, for the jello, we're going to be using cherry jello once again, and we're going to be mixing that with panko breadcrumb. It's so just a real quick, easy mixture. What it does is it allows the jello to stick to something and create a solid little ball. Now we're just going to add a little bit of water to this mix too. And what I'm going to do with this stuff is I'm going to pop it in this bag over here to the side. All right, that's going to be our breadcrumb and uh, jello mix right there. So I'm going to pop that to the side, and next. We're gonna mix up some steel cut oats with some sweet cream corn, and we'll also put a little bit of whole corn. There we go, and that's gonna be our corn and oat mixture, just like that. All right, so for for night crawlers, nothing too fancy with that. All we're gonna do is throw that on a hook. I'll show you guys the setups that we're gonna be using the rigs. Uh, they're called pack weights. This is what we're gonna be using for the Jello and corn mixtures. Uh, it just allows you to put all that bait right here on the weight, toss it out there and then uh, your actual bait is sitting right next to that pack weight or all the bait that's on the ground out there. So it should make it a little bit easier for those fish to find your bait and for you to find those fish. So we're gonna be throwing this on both the jello and corn setup and for the uh, worm setup, we're gonna be doing a little bit different. I'll show you that here in just a second. So let's get these first two tossed out and then we'll talk about the worms. But right now what we're doing is just putting a little bit of uh, bait on the hook. All right, now to get this pack weight on there, we're just gonna grab a little bit in our hand. We're gonna smush it in there, get a nice, compact ball all around our weight. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. That's what it's called pack weight and pack bait. And then we're gonna put our hook, just the tip of the hook in our ball so that way it doesn't uh, hang loose or get tangled up anywhere. I'm wash my hands real quick. Oh, baby turtle. Little tiny turtles hanging out right here with us. Ow, dude, those are some sharp claws you got. Scary off. Now we're probably gonna wanna get this out there a little bit further than normal just because turtles will get it. And uh, the rig we're using right here, this is a Daiwa rod and a Cast King bait feeder. We'll talk about the systems here in a bit. right where we want it and then we just click that back rig system on and if anything takes it you'll hear the line start rolling versus it pulling stuff because carp are a little bit more finicky so we want them to run at the line all right second setup same exact weight same exact hook same exact everything only difference is we're using a complete different bait this bait's really fruity and then once again this stuff gets real dough like real rubbery Makes sense, it's jello, right? And we're just gonna pop this on there. Ooh, that's actually really, really neat. I think what I'm gonna do, cause it just, it's like a clay-like, it's a lot more sticky than the, uh, the other bait that I had. I could probably, honestly, like roll up a little ball, cause look how sticky that is right there, just sticking to it. Let's try this out. Make it real jello-like. Beautiful, beautiful. That way that scent stays right there. Now, not guaranteeing it'll do anything. Like I said, I've never fished this stuff before, but it's pretty cool. I'll tell you that much. I've never had a bait that sticky. Let's talk about our worms. So with worms, it's pretty straightforward. You wanna fish them a little bit subsurface. So the rig we got right here 
is a little bit different rig. It's got a float, it's got a weight, and then it's got a circle hook on it. So that way it's a little bit easier for these fish to set the hook on themselves. And me personally with night crawlers, guys, you see how that thing's squirming like that? That's what I want it to be doing out there in the water. I want it to be squirming a little bit, attract those fish. So we got all three baits out here. We got the corn over here, which is our first one. We got our jello rig, which is our second one. And then we got our handy dandy worm rig, which I'm assuming should usually do the best at a location like this. But uh, we really don't know. It's just kind of a waiting game. So we're gonna sit back, let that patience kick in and just see which line goes off and which one catches the most fish. I'm really excited to see that. So let's sit back, wait, and uh, hopefully catch ourselves a fish sooner than later. Oh. We got something, guys. On the corn mix. Doesn't feel too big. But it's definitely fighting. What is it? Like a little catfish? A little guy. It's coming right in. Hey, it's a little catfish. Yeah, we got ourselves a little tiny catfish. All right, guys, first fish of the day. There we go, got him on the corn. That's good eating size if you did want to eat a catfish, at least out of a local area like this. But for me, I'm not gonna be eating him. We're just gonna be releasing him right back in the water. So let's get him back in the water. Well, guys, we just got ourselves our first catch on our first release on the corn. So corn is up one to zero now. Let's get it re-rigged back out there. I think we got ourselves our first fish in under the 30 minutes. I'm pretty impressed. So hopefully that's a good sign that the bite will pick up and uh, that maybe corn will be the ultimate bait today. So let's get back at it. not what I was expecting. This one just went off, guys. Let's see what's on it. On the jello. Something decent. Could be a catfish pulling straight down. Oh man, what is that? It's a good catfish. On the jello. Wow, that's a good catfish right there, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, take a look at our second catch of the day. This time, our biggest one on the jello bait. I actually had just retied. I was trying to tell you guys how I uh, actually rebaited and cast it a little bit shorter of a distance. This is actually a pretty solid catfish, guys. Once again, if we were trying to get some, some fillets to take home, this one would be ideal. But we're just going to release this guy, get him back in the water. Let's see if we got it's a jello again feels like another catfish yeah it's a little tiny catfish again the jello is attracting catfish right now like crazy i could have been our third keeper oh, that's a good fish <clears throat> I got something good guys, something better at least. Feels just like another catfish. There he goes. Now he's pulling. What do we got? Let's not lose it. Just keep it tight. What in the world is this? I think it's a catfish, but I think it's a good catfish. Oh yeah, that's a good cat. <laughs> there we go guys, get a look at that. Biggest channel cat of the day so far. Very, very long, lanky fish on this one. Very long, man, wow. But uh, once again, the jello seems to be doing the trick, man. I keep getting bumps on the corn, but nothing seems to be working like this jello. I think that's our fourth catfish of the day. It's 
something's feeding on shad out here, guys. There's a good chance Striver might be roaming through here. Well, I brought an extra rod just, just for this reason. Come here. Stay. What in the world? Why this go so slack? Oh yeah, we're on it, that's why. Oh, I got it. It makes it more fun this way. Oh. Oh, Mamas, you're supposed to be in bed. Come here. Come on. Oh, you got another one. Yeah, it's just me. I'd rather do it this way, though. Oh, yeah. Woo. That's cool. You need the help? Nah. It makes it more fun when I have to do it by myself. Oh. Thank you, though. Ah. Woo! We got him. We got him. A little bit of trouble, but we got him. Not bad, right? What is it? These are smallmouth buffaloes. Um, they're native to the Trinity River. Uh-huh. And, uh... They start out like, kind of like common koi fish or carp. Okay. Um, they're bottom feeders, so. Look at that, that's beautiful. But. I have to take your picture. Yeah, definitely. It's a real pretty fish. The fun fighting, that's what I love about them. There we go, guys. Oh. Our first buffalo carp of the day. Solid one, I'd say about a five pounder. Let's get her back in the water. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I think we got this one on the corn. So that makes two fish on the corn and I think three on the jello total. So let's get it back in the water. Yeah, oh, cool. yeah I'll make this into a whole video. So y'all be a part of it. If you okay. like and subscribe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you guys. Okay, oh, thank peppers. Y'all, she made friends, huh? Look at her. She's spoiled. <laughs> Mamas. See ya. Thank you. Thank you guys. Did you make friends? You're so good, my All right, wife. ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. We got out here with three different types of baits, the jello, the corn, and the worms, and it seems like the jello did the best as far as catching the most fish. Now, I will say that the corn caught us the most species coming in at two, the catfish and the uh, buffalo suckerfish, and the worm surprisingly didn't catch us any fish, so that was a big surprise. Uh, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think. What's your favorite bait to use when you come out here on the water, and do you guys think that these baits are something that you would use in the future? If you enjoyed today's video, though, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching y'all. Peace.